Hi guys, welcome back to Siano and if it's your first time come across Siano, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because you'll always be very important when you get uploaded whenever we upload a new video. What are we talking about today? We are talking about uh, the contracts, then we talk about changing jobs in Qatar. Remember, most of you have been asking about that question. I think endless questions are always asked. How can I change? When am I entitled to change job? What are the requirements to change job? If I'm applying to the Ministry of Labor, what do I need to change? What, are, what does the Ministry of Labor need of me to apply? And what are the requirements? When I resign, what do I need to do? Those are all kinds of what you call different questions when it comes to changing jobs in Qatar. I think most of you will agree with me. There have been a lot of people have been rejected by either rejected by the ministry, rejected by your employer, or even actually how you do it yourself is one reason that maybe will create what we call the rejections in one way or the other. And yet at the end of it all, when we are talking about changing jobs or when we talk about the opportunities in the Gulf, we always look for those better opportunities for us where we can have something that is really going to be enough for us. And this is exactly what we are discussing. So most of the questions are rotating around when can I change? How can I change job? When am I entitled to change job? That is a question of discussion. Remember, before we talked about very many things, when requirements, the procedure, when you go to the ministry, what you do, how to resign from your company, all those are part of the procedures that we discussed before, right? Today we want to talk about two things, and that is the contracts and changing. Because everything, whatever you have to do in the Middle East, whatever you have to do in the Gulf countries, whatever you have to do in Qatar, is going to rotate around your contract. Most of you do not know that your contract may either infringe you, may either add you packed in one place, or it can make you have very big opportunities for you at glance. But remember, it is not your fault, it's not my fault. At the first time, we are there to make mistakes, right? When we make mistakes, out of the mistakes, we get out something that is very good. And that is what I'm talking about, is when we sign the contracts, the first time we sign contracts, let's say, for example, those people that have signed contracts that are for two years, contracts for uh, what we call five years. What am I talking about? In Qatar, we have two types of contracts. Those two contracts, we have what you call the limited contract and the unlimited contract. The limited contract is specifically for two years. The unlimited contract goes beyond two years, which is five years. That is what we call unlimited contract. So most times when we are signing these contracts with the manpower agents or these companies, something that you need to consider, what type of contract you are signing with that company. The type of contract you are signing with that company will be the contract that is going to enable you either change job peacefully or no change job be banned from qatar for a given period of time or not your employer putting uh uh, uh, uh coding a full up search on you in metrash or not what does it mean each contract has its own clauses with your employer in such kind of situations if some employer if you tend to bleach the contract he will definitely put a kind of runaway or even any case of which all and he may want you to go out of the country which some of you you tentatively tend to experience that in one way or the other and this is exactly what we want to know so no first of all something that you need to know which kind of contract to sign with that company if it is unlimited which is five years finish up the contract apply to the ministry if you have a new job offer you'll move on without anything and you'll be approved peacefully if you sign a two years contract which is a limited contract with that company finish up the two years look for someone to give you a job offer then you can move on to a new job apply to the ministry they will approve you i think most of you, most of people most of the people here 
can witness have been winners in one way or the other. But where the hardest problem or the hardest part comes in is where you do not finish up that contract. That's why I keep always telling people, we get from mistakes, we learn from mistakes, and out of the mistakes, again, we get to be winners in one way or the other. So, if you sign two years contract, make sure you finish up the two years contract before you think of changing in the middle. Because I'm sure that employer is not going to allow you it is just such kind of instances where a few people that are going to be either the company's insolvency, companies liquidating, closing, they'll allow it to go. Or the company has excess labor, they'll allow it to go. It depends on how you're lucky you are. But at most times, at 90%, that company will always want to finish up their contract before you can look for someone else to take you up. That is what you need to know. If you sign that contract and it is for unlimited five years, finish up the five years, look for something that is better, then tentatively take off and go with that. Then sometimes also it's something that you need to know that most of the time the, the, the ministry will approve those people who are applied and got jobs that are paying more than what they are doing. If your current job or your current opportunity comes on your table and it has a more year pay, a, a more amount of pay compared to what you've been earning, there are also chances that you'll be approved very fast. But the main issue of it all is the contracts. That's why I keep on telling people, most of the times, look at the contracts you are signing with those companies. They are very important contracts. Read every single clause of any word in those contracts because every word in that contract matters. Every word that you don't read and you do not ask for assistance or you do not ask for interpretation or understanding what it means, it will add a lot after some time, especially when you want to change, when you want to go out company, when you want to do something that is a little bit better. Hope I've tried to share something for you. So make sure the contracts, you finish up the contract according to what you sign. Sat, there is no breaches of contract in one way or the other. There's no way your employer would say you did not finish up my contract. But if everything is amicably done as agreed, then I assure you get a very good opportunity. Even the ministry will approve you and will definitely let you go without even having to pull uh, uh, ropes or even have to uh, not even have to rub shoulders with your employer in one way or the other. Hope of trying to share something. Remember, it's Qatar 2022 and we are looking at the FIFA World Cup that will be starting in a few couple of days where we have 32 teams that are coming together to fight for the common cause. You know, it's Qatar now. All is now and now it's all. That is the FIFA World Cup. It's the time to enjoy and time to feel the, the, the to feel the excitement in the country that is hosting the FIFA World Cup. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It's makes from the next creation. Always giving you the updates. Always will give you the updates around Qatar, uh, opportunities, jobs, everything within the latest events that will be happening in Qatar. All right here from the next creation. See you again in the next video.